Gold's name was Fantability. Her death was already the source of tremendous sadness in Sharon Hill. Now, though, that grief has been compounded with word that it was likely an officer's bullet that killed her. Tonight, race and culture reporter Taronda Thomas is the latest as all involved here search for answers. They're very, very upset and want answers. And one of those answers has finally come to the family of eight-year-old Fantability. The Delaware District Attorney's Office now says there's a high probability that the bullet that struck Fanta was fired from a police officer's gun. They're just very, very distraught. The grieving family now speaking through attorney Bruce Castor. Well, I've talked to him pretty much every day. He says the DA's investigation has gotten the cooperation of Sharon Hill police who have recovered the car, but not the suspect who started the shooting. There were upwards of 25 shots fired. <laughs> we don't know if all of them were fired by police, but it certainly appears to be that the vast majority of them almost all. Police fired those shots last Friday night at the Academy Park High School football game. Investigators say a suspect started shooting from a car as people were leaving the game. One of those shots was fired towards Sharon Hill police officers who then returned fire. Fanta was killed. Her 13 year old sister and another boy were injured. You gotta believe that it wasn't intentional and um, it's just awful. I feel scared. Like, this could happen to anybody. A ballistics test will determine if the fatal shot definitely came from police. Even if it did, the suspect who started the shooting could be charged with Fanta's murder. The person who fired, who was involved in those firing those shots and starting this off could face secondary murder charges. The DA's office will make a decision on whether to file charges against police as this community continues to mourn a little life lost. I You're think here. it's like really sad. I mean, she was so young. As people continue to try to make sense of this, investigators are turning to the public for help. They ask anyone with information on the identity of the suspect who fired at police to step forward. In Sharon Hill, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. Your home workouts just got better. Introducing Les... Smartec. Tested to go the distance so you can get more from every rep. Maximize your...